A very warm welcome to you all to the walk around for the Santa Cruz. Now, do be on the lookout for important emails from our escape team leading up to your trip. We've implemented some new COVID-19 procedures to keep you and our employees safe. So let's go on a walk around. In the glove compartment, you've got the registration here and the insurance. You've also got your accident report. Really important to have that in every single vehicle that we send out. We've got the tire pressure gauge, of course. Then we have the escape plan. Don't forget to pick up your escape plan from the office. It's got loads of great road trip ideas and also makes for an excellent souvenir. Let's move to the bed section. The bed stays down in the Santa Cruz. As you can see from the images, there are curtains around the van which open and close to give you added privacy. There's also a separate front curtain that attaches with the snap buttons. So look out for that. There's some nice storage space in here and it's really important to get the hang of how these drawers go in and out. You just give it a nice pull there and then it comes out and to get it back in, you just give it a push. The gas for the Santa Cruz is on the passenger side and you're putting regular gas in there, regular only. So let's move to the back. The cooler, turn that on, put that up to about halfway. That will cool down nicely. This middle section here, we've got a standalone camper stove. Just attach your gas canister and open the valve to start cooking. But two important notes. Firstly, you must turn this hob around when you start cooking. Also, the ring stays very hot for at least 15 minutes after cooking. So please leave it for at least 15 minutes before touching it after you cook. Once it has cooled down for at least 15 minutes, you can flip this back over, close the case, put it, pop it back, you're done. The uh, water fill up point is here. Remember, we always send our water tanks out empty and we recommend the use of a one gallon water jug to fill your tank. This just pops up like so and the pumping mechanism for this, for the water, is like this. As you can see, the water's coming out pretty much straight away. You can use this water for cooking and washing dishes, washing your hands and brushing your teeth, but we don't recommend that you drink from the water tank. And when the tank's full of grey water, all you need to do is flip this lever here to the open position, which is up and vertical. And it's straight back in. Two more important elements out the back. This solar power light obviously takes its energy from the sun, so you can use that as much as you like. Using the lights in the cabin, you need to be a little bit more careful because they run off the battery. And in the unlikely event that you are to break down, the breakdown kit is down there in the side. You just need to lift the mattress and all the stuff is back there. We can provide you with everything and anything you might need for your trip. Even if you didn't book your extras in advance, we can sort it all out for you when you come in to pick up your van. Let's move around to the side of the van. Around this side of the van, you're gonna find some more really handy storage space. Okay, now we're at the all important driving section of the beautiful Santa Cruz. We have the central locking again. Then you move on to the driving panel itself. We've got the lights down here on the dash and we generally put those to automatic. That means that they respond and react to the amount of light in the atmosphere. So they can just leave those on there the whole time. Please remember to split your keys up if you do get a couple for the Santa Cruz because your insurance will not cover you in the event that you lock yourself out of the van. The rear view mirrors move automatically, electronically over here. You can use that panel to adjust them to your taste. Of course, on the main dash, we have a power unit, a 12V power unit for plugging in your phones and things like that. And the sound system is pretty modern and you can connect your phone via Bluetooth with that as well. The final element, which is of course really important, is to walk around and make sure there's no damage to the car. And there you have it, that's the walk around for the Santa Cruz.